Growing up, I went to a public school in New York State. I learned a lot, but I don't feel like public schools were efficient at tapping into my full potential. If I put a number to it, I feel like public schools only let me tap into about 15% of my potential. Here's a list of areas I felt my teachers failed me in. I was frequently told to study, but I was never actually told what studying meant. What does it mean to study? I know that when I was in the 8th grade, I thought studying just meant to recopy the notes I took during class. This is a study method, but I feel it is a very weak one, and would usually result in a sore hand. As far as I can tell, studying either means memorization, or doing practice questions. I was given enough practice questions, but never really taught any memorization techniques. In fact, the opposite was true. I was taught that memorization was just mindless regurgitation. I feel like if I was taught proper study method when I was younger, it would have made a huge difference. My next problem was too much homework. The school day was already long, but then afterwards I'd have to do homework too. If I did all my homework every day, I'm sure it would be at least a half an hour of work each night just to get an average grade. I don't know why schools think it's okay to use so much time and then still assign homework. Most of the homework was ultimately busy work that didn't actually serve an educational purpose. Also, the fact that I had so much homework is why I would ever rarely study. I feel like if students were given less homework, they would get a better education. My next problem was too much busy work. This ties into my previous problem. A lot of classes had too much busy work. The best example that comes to mind is the literature class. In a literature class, you would think that all you need to do is to read the book and then talk about it later in class. However, there would always be worksheets, quizzes, and then you would have to write an essay. Is this what the authors really had in mind when they wrote these books? I don't think so. I think much of the art or meaning of the literature is removed through this process. A similar thing happens in most of the classes that didn't involve math or a trade. They would add busy work. I feel like teachers did this because they were afraid that classes would be deemed too easy. I think we should cut busy work out of our classes. If a class is easy and enjoyable, that should be a good thing, not a bad thing. The next issue is that after I left elementary school, the usefulness of what I was learning started to diminish. For example, much of what I learned in history class was very superficial. I could probably learn the equivalent by watching a documentary. For math and science related classes, the same thing could be said, except for I would need an app or a program to solve the solution. I would say that the trade and home economic classes were the more useful ones, but I only had a handful of them. Making a class useful should always be in the front of the teacher's mind when they plan their syllabuses. I know some listeners might be thinking, well Peter, the real purpose of education is to learn critical thinking. I would have to disagree. First off, I was never formally taught critical thinking or any problem solving techniques at school. They might have hidden it at them, but they never explicitly stated them. In fact, schools teach the opposite of critical thinking. They teach that what matters most is the opinion of an authority figure. We're taught that it doesn't matter if you're objectively right, unless the teacher thinks you're right. A student doesn't have the right to appeal a grade a teacher gives them, and they must accept it. So no, I don't think critical thinking is taught at schools. So this was a list of five factors that kept me from getting the most out of school. There are more smaller issues, like power tipping teachers, the antagonistic social environment, but I feel like these factors are harder to deal with and would have a smaller impact. My question to the viewers is, do you feel like your time at school was used well? Let me know down in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.